Sinners Podcast. Behind the scenes. What's up, man? What's up, man? You go all in, lad. When you say it, man. You all right, like. Does everything go all right, man? Fucking hell, you can't come out here, mate. So you just come here. Where do you look at? Is that what you do? Thief! Thief! Man, you start with chicken wings here, bro. I can do it, bro. These are wings, bro. Rainbows on my face, bro. The man come here for wings. Can you just try and come here for wings, bro? What do you mean? You got the fucking top chef here. You just come here, there's nothing. What does that mean, bro? Because the man said you got the top chef here. So he's come for wings, bro? No, I didn't come for wings, really. He's come for wings, bro. What do you mean? I ain't been here for a minute. Oi, you, see, you, see, you seen the Walla combo? You know what I'm saying? Where you know you Where's the wings, man? <laughs> Why you here? Oi, you I'm the, here for the wings, man. You seen the Walla combo? Yeah. I'm trying to shit. <laughs> Don't say I ain't been here for a minute. Oi, Walla, tell him, um, tell him the website. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. You know www.hairyballs.com Hairy balls? What's, what's wrong with that song? <laughs> hey, blood, you just come here with rainbows. What do you mean I took them from there, man? Blood, who even buys these? That's what I'm here with, man. It's coming. You didn't say hello to me and just took rainbows. I've been here for a bit. It's going to be behind the scenes calls to me, yeah? Rainbow face. And what are you doing now? Back up, Back up camera man. Back up camera man. Back up camera man. This is what you do, you just put camera in man's face all the time. And it's lava. Lava. Pushing up my things in man's face. Lava. This, yo, you're probably just here watching movies and everything on your phone. It's lava. It's lava. Live, live on TikTok. TikTok live. Yeah, TikTok. How many views you got? Huh? How many views? There's only a, there's only a, a young hundred in there right now. Yeah, hundred, yeah. yeah. Bro, that close is that. He calling lad. So it's Melissa, but a lot of people know me as Melly, so Melly Myers. Melly, so Melly Myers. I'm from London. So I am an aspiring actress and influencer. Uh, influencing actually started in the first lockdown. Uh, with the acting, I actually started that when I was a kid, so I've like grown up doing a lot of stuff. But I'm now just getting back into it a bit more now. It's like the one thing that I want to do full time. The dream. What I'm expecting to see? Yeah. Um, I don't know really. Um, I, I guess what am I expecting to hear? <laughs> what am I going to be asked? Um, I don't know. I guess I'm looking forward to, you know, connecting with the other people that are going to be on the show. Um, as well as learning something about everyone, you know. Um, yeah, just discussing interesting topics, really. Have you watched any of the episodes that you've just been thrown completely into the deep end? Um, yeah, pretty much into the deep end. And are you prepared for the question, what is your biggest sin? Yes, I, I have thought about that. Um, it's quite a tough question, actually, but yes, 
I know what my answer is going to be. So you're a sinner? Um, I don't know. I'm going to sound really boring, aren't I, if I say that I'm not? <laughs> um, I don't know. It de I guess it depends what you would define as a sinner, I guess. I don't know. I would probably say I'm a pretty vanilla person, I think. That's the best way you can describe yourself, vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> so describe yourself in another two more words. Um, adventurous and spontaneous. Alright, thank you. Welcome to Secret Sinners. Good to have you, man. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, I don't like because I got off and then they kept taking me one way to the tram line. What tram line <laughs> uh, in, in, in Tender? Yeah, yeah, so I'm uh -huh. fucked it, you know. So much so I actually turned around on the one way street, so... You hear that, man? Hi, Hi nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you okay? Yeah, Lovely. good, thank you. Where have you come from? London. Oh, as well? Right? Yeah. Well, I'm like Essex, but yeah. Yeah, God, it must have taken you ages to get here. Two and a half? Two oh. Essex ladies. How long did it well, take two Did you oh, go out from London? Oh, 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 <laughs> you don't hear the accent, Chad? Like, no, yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%
Young Guns. Because it pops up, yeah? Nah, yeah, just talk to him some more. Nah, that's good, man. They got bars in it. They went the other place where I was at, it was a freestyle thing on it. Oh, so, so I took them to Shell Down again. Yeah, man. Sign in for me. Sign it in blood. <laughs> my name is Theo Johnson. Obviously, everybody knows me as T1 Official, but rebranding that, come on. <sighs> I do a lot. Actor, filmmaker, BBC presenter now, and this all round 30 Brom Bromtown ambas ambassador ambas and stutterer as well. I'm gonna add that. Am I based in Brom? 100%. I'm there. What am I expecting to see on today's podcast? Well, me, because obviously I've been called down to come here and do it. So, yeah, that's what I'm expecting to see, me. Am I expecting any drama or commotion? Well, it's called Sinners Podcast, so I'm assuming that someone's going to be sinning. Have I prepared an answer for the question, what is my biggest sin? Nope. But I'm sure that I've, in my years, I could think of certain. I'm good man, I'm easy man. I'm prepared. What's that in your hands for you? When you stop. And I the worst thing is I ordered one to town. And it's gone. I had to order it again. You ready for the podcast then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hey. I loved it. I really liked how dynamic our group was. Like, I really, it was like my first time on a podcast, so I actually really enjoyed it. I think it was good. I feel like it was good that there were so many different characters there, and I feel like everyone was really honest, and it just helped the combo flow. Yeah, I think it went really well. I think it was really funny. Everyone got on really well. Good banter from everyone. And I liked that everyone was really different as well. Everyone had different views and everything, so that was nice. I really liked that everyone was really down to earth and it was a really in it was really interesting that everyone had totally different perspectives. So it opens up really good topics of discussion. You broke into a mental house <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> um, uh, well basically we were kind of doing things in like steps. So like one morning one morning we only got so far we maybe got up to like past the gate so each morning we were getting closer and closer into the actual building but one day we did take it a step too far and i think there was like some sort of deal going on in there it was like an abandoned squat building and we ended up being chased out of the building but my friend's boyfriend got, th got thrown in a thorn bush it was so scary i thought these guys were going to kill us that's the part of the story i didn't tell in the podcast but um yeah i guess i was a bit of a bandit when i was younger we were staying in a really rural part of Thailand in like these wooden cabins and the elephants were like our pets. It was mad. Like you would come out and they were just there. It's not like when you go to the zoo, they're closed off. Like these elephants are just there. It was so amazing. So I was doing local work at a school in Thailand doing teaching and then I was also spending time at the sanctuary. So it was a really like rewarding experience. What I got out of the conversation is what I expected to get out of the conversation. Was I expecting to open up? Um, it's the Sinners podcast, so I don't mind sharing a sin. What do I think about them girls who only pop up when I succeed? I, obviously, it's just 
I played a game just like them in it. So we can at the time I, I took advantage of that. I was like, yeah, come, because I did actually like them girls in the first place. But I just knew to keep them at a certain length and not catch no feelings. Expand on the girl that caught feelings. I feel like I could understand how she she broke it down to me that she was trying to fight her urges and her thoughts, and she thought over time she'll forget about me and continue with her man, and it would just be a hunky dory. But obviously, it didn't go like that. And the more like I said, because it was new for us and she's used to her man, it's like he will try it. He wouldn't try as hard. You know, when, you, when you're single and you're just linking a thing and you might just link her once, you might do a three rounds or you might like be competitive because you just want to leave a good impression because you know you're not staying long. Perfect relationship. Yeah. Loyalty, trust and attraction. I think they're the most important thing in a, in a relationship. Free. So the same guy that was driving around the Range Rover they want to take for a 20 feet away. Yeah. That, oh my god, it didn't even put two and two together. That's so true. Funny. I just feel like you get more opportunities when you're single because you have more time to do all the like DJ gigs, all the blogging. Like it just it's definitely it's so much different when I'm. I've been in the industry in both, and I'm thriving more single than I am, am was when I was in a relationship. Yeah, they, like, Melly was well different to me. I like it though, because it's nice having. She's like a good girl, isn't she? And I'm like, not the good girl, I suppose. <laughs> I liked um, Theo's opinions on everything. I feel like he should be like a life coach or something, or motivational speaker. He has a lot to say, but it's good stuff. It's definitely come back. It's been like a vibe. Definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm going to come back if you want me. It's fine. I'll come back. Let me do our B first, see how I get on and then I'll come back. When I, when I play tunes and the crown are like loving it, it's like I can't explain how like that feels. You just don't want to come off. Like when someone's like, oh, it's like me next, you're like, no. Like it's like amazing. When everyone's like loving it and dancing and like cheering you, it's like sick. Yeah. So you've had a lot of celebrities in your DMs now, have you? Yeah, well, over the years, not like recently. Like, no, over in the general, years. like, you've had a One Direction member, you've had. Yeah, when I was years. young. Yeah, good times. Footballers. What, who would you say is the most interesting person you've met then that's been a DJ? Not even in terms of relationship, but met in general. Well, I've met, I met people before I was a DJ, that were cool. But, like, DJ wise, I've met all the big DJs now. And like one of them is like sorting me out in Ibiza, so I haven't got to pay for anything. So that's quite cool. <laughs> like all the big, big clubs. So um, that's quite cool. But um, before then, I met Justin Bieber once. That was quite cool. That was in London. He's quite big time. Yeah. That's it probably. And to wrap this up. Yeah. Have you got? Anything to say to aspiring DJs, especially females? Oh, be I feel like at the moment it's really like good time for female DJs to like do it. So if you're going to do DJing and you're a female, you need to do it now because I feel like everyone's thriving off the girls because um, there's not many girls that DJ. So when you do DJ, it's like, oh, girl DJ, that like, is cool. Um, and I think it's harder for men um, to sort of get into it so yeah definitely if you're a girl dj that definitely go for it now now is the time because this year has been the year where i've sort of gone from like level to like because i just i have like gigs all the time now and i never used to it used to be like here and there but i'm pretty much playing every week in ibiza which is cool then i've got gigs when i come back in october so yeah definitely go for it now that sounds active it's been a pleasure having you thanks like, subscribe, and check out the Secret Sinners podcast. Come on, gang, gang. Yo, the guests were absolutely brilliant, bro. Like, top class, bro. Like, we had an all star lineup for the podcast at the moment where we are. It's an all star lineup, and all of them turned up. All of them was happy to be here, and all of them did their job. You get what I'm saying? Like, what more can I ask for? What more can we ask for? Other than great conversation. It was sick, bro. Like, it was sick. What do you reckon, Lex? Fucking hell. Looks like stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Got... Take off your fucking shades. Uh, fuck you got saying it's the best podcast you've done so far. No, 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 no. No one, no one cares about what Gerd says. Yeah, no one cares about what Gerd says.
you say the same thing. Gurge background and that. Put the camera on Gurge for a change. Gurge! Big up Gurge! Fuck Gurge, I didn't ruin my relationship. No, I didn't. Big up Gurge! What are you saying? Fuck Gurge! Fuck Gurge! You ruined my relationship. That's it. I almost got what I did, yeah. Yeah. Gurge has ruined my relationship. It's done now. Right, cool. Like and subscribe to the channel, share it, yeah, and tell your friends to tell your friends to tell your friends. Yeah, Sinners Podcast are here to stay, yeah. We're going to have uh, all sorts of interesting conversations. We're going to be doing a lot more different things. We're going to change the landscape of how you see things. Sinners Podcast, we're all sinners. You're a sinner, I'm a sinner, yeah. What's your biggest sin? Man, chicken, chicken and the lollipops. Man eats chicken with lollipops. The Who does that? Video? But no one at the, uh, hey, at the hands are wet still. Chicken and lollipops. Chicken and lollipops. Chicken.